Hello everyone and welcome. It's Nala. You might know me as Segura's Craft and I am part of the creative crew for Cat Scrappiness. We are going to make this beautiful, fun card and it's also quick. But make sure you stay tuned to the end to see variations of this card just to get the creative juice moving. Let's go. Okay. So I need to create a batch of cards, but I also don't have the time. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you an easy design that you can create using just ink and stamps. Uh, let's, I have this, um, I forgot what these called, but it's like a post-it tape, okay, um, that I'm placing on the corner and i have a larger one here i'm going to place on the other side and this is just going to protect our project i'm using the line on my mat to help me make sure that i am placing my tape uh, not tape but post-it or washi tape whatever you may have straight i don't know what it is but for me every time i like i use a trimmer right and even though I use the trimmer, for some odd reason, I always end up like, even though it, it's clearly straight, brand new, I brought a new one just for this reason. And it's clearly straight. But to me, for some reason, it looks crooked. And I'm just like, I don't understand what is wrong with my vision. <laughs> like, I need to go get this checked out. <laughs> okay. Uh... So I'm going to bring out some Distress Oxides. I do use uh, separate brushes for my oxides and my, um, my oxides and my dyes. All right, let's start. So I'm going to start off with some Savage Patina. And since I just washed all my brushes and oh, they're so beautiful, <laughs> I don't want to mess them all up. And we're going to start from the bottom and we're just going to start layering these colors and i'm not going to go too high i'm just going to just enough for it to have that transition salty ocean and you can you don't have to have the brushes you can use the blending tools if you have those as well uh, i actually do have blending tools and i'm almost at the point where i have one per each color it's a slow moving process <laughs> but we're getting there this was aged mahogany and i'm gonna go to crackling campfire now i'm just gonna go back over with that aged mahogany now it's very important for me to mention when you want a good blend i mean a seamless blend it is all about overlapping and adding layers of ink because the more amount of layers you put the easier it is to transition as well as allows you to be able to make both colors blend in well to transition it to the next color i did add some mustard seed distress oxide ink towards the top because I felt like it needed something a little bit more bright. And I wanted that um, campfire to be crackling to be a little bit softened. And I knew the yellow was the next color up. So it would help to soften it. And then we're just going to continue going over all of our inks so that it can blend. I know it looks freaky looking, but bear with me on this just just bear with me on it <laughs> so now i am going to pull out the magical quokka we're going to stamp no die cutting no coloring we're just gonna stamp we're gonna put him yeah we'll put him here like that a little pressure and a little prayer <laughs> that it's going to stamp correctly yes okay perfect so go ahead and stamp this out not bad not bad at all 
going to take this and we'll put this one down here and we'll bring this one right here just enough to bring that magic out i just want to make sure each one of my stamps are coming off the edge look at that never would have thought huh never would have thought all right let's cut this down so i'm just going to cut it down to five and a quarter by four i'm going to take this cardstock i'm going to cut it down to an a2 size which is five and a half by four and a quarter and now i'm going to place this i added some foam tape to the back of my panel so I can pop it up. I want to place this maybe right here. But you know, with every different one that you make, you can maybe put one here, put one there, here, put in the center, put it right between here. It's all up to you. But before I do that, I would like to add a little bit of some salty ocean and i'm just going to just pass it around like that to add some color to it and then i'm just going to pat some on the side to kind of hide that little mistake I did. There we go. And we're going to place it in a fun little crossover. There we go. Now you can stop here and then start creating a bunch more or you can embellish. And that's it what do you think so this card took roughly about 20 minutes for me to make and I did use the paper pad from the magical quokka collection but all in all it came out gorgeous and I'm gonna show you different ones I think it could be a lot quicker if I maybe did all the inking at one time and then went back and then did the stamping. I mean, you just gotta find your own routine. Now, I wanted to show you variations. Here, I made it into a shaker card using the Birthday Quaka collection release. And then I just added some shakers inside and I loved how this one looked too. I think this was really fun. And it was so cute, guys. Like, my daughter was like, can I have it? I'm like, no. <laughs> and then the next one, I used the birthday quokka as well. And I just made it into more of a rainbow color and more towards males, I guess you could say. So it'd be a card that, I guess, actually, we can say they're unisex. Like you can use it for both male and female. And then... The next card, the last card that you'll see is mostly for males. Um, but again, it all depends on what type of card you're trying to make for that person. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Please make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. We would love to have you. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter at Cat Scrappiness to get updates on all types of events and releases. I hope to see you guys next time and let us see what cards you come up with using this technique. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.